Hey guys, this is Galactic Bricks, and this is the seventh update for building Kessel and Lego. And today I've pretty much completed all of the interior for the caves on Kessel, so let's go straight into it. So, first off, I've completely finished the hallway and also threw in some ledge plates just to break up the line of plates. To the left of the hallway, I've made a ramp that is actually pretty simple. I just used tiles, ledge plates, and plates and then made the incline plane with these hinge pieces. Under the ramp, you'll see that I've added an axle, which actually activates a mechanism hidden behind this wall that turns the door. Basically, there are two axles, which are connected through gears, and the door is connected to plates, which turn with the gears. Compared to the original design, the upgraded version is not much different, apart from the fact that it now rests on two gears instead of one, and the base is connected by two bricks. As a result, the mechanism is much more sturdy and reliable. Moving on, the next section I've worked on is a small passageway leading to the inner caves, which is definitely one of the coolest parts of Kessel and reminds me a lot of the crystal caves from Crate. For this section, I used pretty much all of the dark grid I had left, and I think it's a decent amount of space that I've covered for a color that is not very common, especially in large quantities. One other thing I did was leave the top of the cliffs unfinished to give it a more natural and rougher look. Back to the passageway, this part is very simple and leads you straight to the ladder. While I was trying to make everything accurate, I have seriously overestimated the height of the ledge that you can see in this picture because there shouldn't actually be an elevation change here and the ramp looks like it's at the right angle and it shouldn't go that high. So it's not supposed to be here, but it's the best option I have at this point. Beyond the ladder is the second entrance to the mines and it's pretty similar to the main one besides being smaller and just so happens to be where four sections of the mock come together, which is just going to make it a lot more interesting for sure. But one other thing you'll notice is that I left a small gap of unused space, and that's because I'm not sure what to put there, and I also don't want to just use up all my Dartan pieces because I'm running really low on them. I've used a lot of pieces, especially in Dartan in this box, so I'm trying to be a little bit more sparing with those parts. And that is pretty much everything I've done this week. It was quite a bit, but for next week I'm probably going to do mostly rock work and working out what to do for the next floor, the second level. I'm still not sure if I'm going to have rooms or not, so any suggestions or feedback would be really appreciated and all that. But Thank you guys so much for watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.